We've been chatting for hours. I'm all talked out. Hey, do you want to come to the football game this weekend? Actually, I've been to so many football games. I'm all footballed out. Hey, have you studied for tomorrow's test yet? Why don't we study together? Uh, yeah. Actually, I studied so much, I'm all studied out. I think I'm just gonna relax at home. All studied out? What does that mean? Hi everyone, welcome back to Bree's Practical English. Today, I want to teach you something that many native speakers use, but I don't think it's ever been taught in a classroom before. So it's a very simple structure. All you need is all plus verb plus ed plus out. Or you can use all noun ed out. Okay, so all studied out. What does that mean? Well, this structure is used when we have done something a lot and we don't want to do it anymore. We are tired of it or we feel exhausted. We don't want to do the thing anymore for a while. So if someone says, I'm all studied out, that means they studied so much that they're tired of it. They don't want to do it right now. Maybe they want to wait a while and then they'll study again. If we use it with a noun, for example, Hey, do you want to come to the football game this weekend? I'd love to go to another football game with you, but I'm all footballed out. If I have been to so many football games this season, and I'm really tired of going, I could say, sorry, I'm all footballed out. Even though football is not a verb, we can add ed in this sentence structure to show that you're tired of something, that you've done it so much. Let's take a look at a few more sentences. Do you want to come to the party this weekend? No. I'm all partied out. Hey, we're going on a hiking trip. Would you like to come? I've been hiking every weekend. I'm all hiked out. Would you like some more coffee? Actually, I'm all coffeed out. I'd like some water, please. Hey, Brie, why don't we brainstorm a new lesson together? Oh gosh, I'm all brainstormed out. I've been brainstorming all day. See how easy it is to use? We hear a similar pattern when we use I'm all tired out or I'm all tuckered out. I'm wiped out. All of these phrases mean you're tired, you're exhausted. So when we use I'm all verbed out or I'm all nouned out, it just means we're very tired of doing something. I recommend trying to use this once in a while because just by saying this one sentence, you are going to sound like a native speaker, like you've been speaking English your whole life. It's very casual, but it is very effective to get everything you want to say into one compact, concise sentence. Instead of saying, oh man, I've been on so many Zoom meetings, I've been on so many Zoom calls, I'm really tired, I don't want to join another Zoom meeting. All you have to say is, I'm all Zoomed out. And actually, you don't even need the all. You could say, I'm Zoomed out, I'm hiked out, I'm Englished out. Um, we add the all for emphasis. We tend to add all when we want to emphasize something. The difference between I'm all partied out and I'm partied out, um, the all just gives it a little bit more oomph, a little bit more um, emphasis. Very, very useful for everyday conversations. Okay, I want to try something with you. I'm going to give you a situation and I want you to put in the comments what you think a good concise way to express that would be. Um, I'll give you the answer 
after. But see if you can get it right first by typing it in the comments. You've been practicing for a performance or presentation. You've been running through your lines or rehearsing a musical performance until it was perfect. But now your voice is sore. You have a hoarse voice. What could you say that encapsulates everything I just said and includes the meaning of um, you're tired and you want to take a break? Type what you think you could say in the comments. Okay, there are probably a few ways that we could express this, but I like I'm all rehearsed out. To rehearse means to practice something over and over again. So practicing for a play or practicing for a musical or a presentation, you have to rehearse it. Um, so you could say, I'm all rehearsed out. Say you've been glued to your screen all day. You're scrolling through social media. You're binge watching Bree's Practical English. But now your eyes are tired and you want to go get some fresh air. What could you say? Well, one way you could say it is, I'm all teched out. Tech is short for technology. I'm all teched out. I'm tired of using technology for the day or for right now. If you're tired of using YouTube, you might say, I'm all YouTubed out. I'm all TikToked out. I'm all social mediaed out. Okay, this is the last scenario. You've spent your whole day gardening. You're planting flowers. You're trimming the bushes. You're doing all that. Your hands are in the dirt, but now you're sweaty, your back hurts, and you want to go relax. What could you say? That's right. You could say, I'm all gardened out. I'm all gardened out. I'm tired of gardening. I want to go and rest. Great job on that one. You can find more information on this lesson at breezeenglishstudio.com. I have tons of free resources and I have a resource just for this video also. I'll leave it linked, so go check it out. And I will see you in our next lesson, unless you're all Englished out. In that case, I'll see you when I see you. Okay, bye everyone.